Hi everybody, this is Donna Lewis with the Clark County Park District for another Nature Book Nook. And remember, we get all of our books from the New Carolina Library, so you can check out that library or your local library to see what books you can check out. There's nothing like a book to hold and read. All right, so this book this week is Winter Dance by Marion Dane Bauer, illustrated by Richard Jones. It has great pictures in it. All right, so let's get started. Winter Dance. A single snowflake floats through the air, spins, leaps, settles on the nose of a fine red fox. Winter is coming, says the fox. What should I do? So winter is coming and he's not sure what to do. I can tell you what to do, says a woolly caterpillar. Wrap yourself in a shiny chrysalis so you'll wake to a butterfly spring. And the woolly caterpillar crawls away to do just that. That won't do for me, says Fox. I'm not meant to fly. So where is, oh, here's the tiny caterpillar on the leaf trying to tell him he can uh, go into a cocoon. Well, Fox can't do that. I can tell you what to do, a turtle calls. Tip your tail to the sky and swim down, down, down to bury yourself in the slick, cool mud. And the turtle does just that. Well, I don't think the fox can do that. So the turtle's gonna stay there for the winter, under the mud, under the water. That won't do for me, says the fox. Mud is much too muddy. Let me tell you what to do, whispers the bat. Zig and zag and swoop into a cave. So there he is looking at the turtle and then he meets the bat. The bat's telling him to swoop into a cave to sleep. So can the fox fly? Then hang by your toes and go to sleep. And the bat does just that. That won't do for me, says the fox. My toes would get tired. So that one worked for him. Plop, an acorn falls from a tree. So the bats are in the cave, hanging from their toes, hanging upside down to sleep, but the fox can't do that. And then who do you think is coming next? Who's he gonna meet next? An acorn just fell on his head. I can tell you what to do, chatters the squirrel. Gather, gather, gather. Then quick, quick, hide everything away. And he scramble, scampers off to do just that. That won't do for me, says the fox. I don't even like acorns. So the squirrel's telling him to hide some acorns, right? Gather and hide them away for later. But the fox doesn't eat acorns. We'll tell you what to do, geese honk from the sky. Flap your wings and fly away to warm days and silky soft nights. So the geese are telling him to fly away to a warmer spot. And going, going, gone, the geese do just that. That won't do for me, says the fox. I belong here in the forest. So he can't do that because he can't fly. I can't turn the pages today. A snowshoe hare hops by in his new winter coat. I can tell you what to do, he says. Turn yourself white to match the snow. And the snowshoe hare, who has done just that, disappears into the whitening world. That won't do for me, says the fox. I love my red fur. So the hare, snowshoe hare, turns white to hide from predators. And you can hardly see him up there. But the fox does not do this. Not this kind of fox. This is a red fox and they keep their red fur. I can tell you exactly what to do, says a great black bear. Curl beneath the roots of a toppled balsam tree and tuck all your growls away. And the great bear, great black bear, does just that. So the black bear says, just go to sleep for the winter. That won't do for me at all, says the fox. I'm not a bit sleepy. Hush, the wind sighs. Hush. 
The fox, oh, I gotta show you those pictures, right? He is frustrated. He's not sleepy. He doesn't wanna do any of those things. So what should he do? The fox lies down on the forest floor and puts his nose between his paws. The sun slides down the blue bowl of the sky. Hush, the wind says again. The fox hushes. More snowflakes land on his nose and then a whistle, soft, soft. So he's laying down in the snow. Has your dog ever done that? I had a dog that loved to curl up in the snow and he would stay really warm in there. A white tipped tail, golden eyes. I can tell you what to do, says a fine red fox, bowing low. Well, there's somebody that looks like him, so she must know what to do. When a million snowflakes fill the air, twirling, tumbling, spinning, waltzing, you and I join them. So she says, we're supposed to be outside in this. Of course, says the fox, standing tall, because that's what we find red foxes do in winter, dance. And look at them dancing. That's probably how they find a mate around this time of year. And there they are in their little burrow, in the little log, staying warm. All right, that is the end. Now it's called Winter Dance. That is a great book. So again, check it out at your local library. See if they can get you this book if they don't have it. Usually libraries can now order it from another library and have it ready for you to pick up. All right, everybody, thank you so much. Make sure you get outside, enjoy the outdoors, and come see us at the park. Bye-bye.